since Hollywood has been off, we check in with Peter Mandertroll. Let me make sure I say it right. Peter Mandrigal. There we go. The manager of Sir from Vanderpump Rules. See what he's been up to. Okay, Peter, it's kind of weird for me because usually I'm seeing you with a lot of controversy going on. Right now, you're nice and calm and cool, but how are you doing there in L.A.? <laughs> I'm doing great, but what are you talking about controversy? What are we, what are we talking about here? <laughs> well, when you walk, I don't think I've said anything controversial lately, have I? Well, sometimes on the show it can be very, you know, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> So, Wait, on the show I do something controversial? Well, nah, well, I don't know. I guess maybe, uh, to me it is, but I think a lot of people don't think so. You are, you are kind of like the, the, the cool-headed one of everything. That's true. That's true. Thank you. Thank you for that compliment. <laughs> I try. There's, some, there's always got to be somebody that has to be the cool head out of everybody. You know what I mean? Especially when you're managing the entire restaurant. I have to. Yeah. Otherwise, the whole place is going to go down. <laughs> so let's talk about this uh, again. Um, right now, everybody is shut down in L.A., uh, yes. but you guys have been working from home. You've been still keeping up on things, which is so important. We were talking about mixing drinks, uh, making sure your employees are okay. So let, let's talk a little about that. Well, um, so <laughs> for, for instance, Easter, I went to one of my employees' apartment uh, places, you know, one, uh, one of their, uh, one, uh, well, Demi, I'm going to call her out right now. So I went to her apartment, and uh, we celebrated a little bit of Easter there. You know, I've been keeping up with everybody. I've been calling, texting, you know, all that type of stuff. And then I've also been, like, uh, I decided to make a whole drink series called Salud on my Instagram page and just give people tips on how to make drinks because, let's face it, right now, number one, a lot of people don't really like to read about ingredients. They'd rather see the ingredients being made, so that's where I come in. And two, you know, you got random, you know, fruits around the house and you way overloaded on alcohol, at least I am. And, you know, the, everybody else would be, I, I'm assuming. I mean, there's nothing else to do except watch TV, maybe learn another language and drink. <laughs> so I'm giving people tips on how to make drinks over here. You so, know? That is, that's great. Um, with the show, I know everybody's taking a little break, but you guys will be starting back up when things go back to normal, correct? Hopefully, yes. So has that been? Oh, yes. Has that I mean, been? This is season nine. You have to have season nine. You got to go we, uh, back in season four. I remember being around everybody. It was in Toka Madera. We were shooting a scene. It was myself, the boys, Tom, Tom, Jax, James, and we were all sitting around. And I remember us taking a break after we got done with, uh, you know, like talking. And I told everybody, I was all like, this is going to go to season 10. Nobody believed me. And now all of a sudden, look at us. <laughs> look at us. Season so, 10 is right around the corner. Yeah. And, and again, it gets very, very interesting. I, I mean, again, we're looking in on your guys' lives. Uh, and it's not scripted as much as, you know, everyone thinks it is. You no, guys it's not. Are, you guys all. are like real. Yes. Yes, we are. We're very real. It's not scripted at all. And, uh, I mean, I wish it was, because if it was, then we'd be able to, like, go and get a drink afterwards and be friends, you know what I mean? But, no, it's like, you know, this person has a problem with this person, and it's just like, but that's what makes good TV. So, okay, I know you can't give too much away, but um, what's going to happen when we come back? <laughs> come on, I, there's some, I know you've been in the works on something with somebody there, right? Any, anything you can just give me a little tip on? Uh, well, you know, I just uh, work at Sir. That's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, how can people follow you on uh, social media? Uh, well, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm um, LLPJ Madrigal. At, you know, okay, that came up. That that was my handle from years ago when I was young. So I just had to do it. This girl was all like, "Ladies love Peter, so just put it LLPJ Madrigal." This was even before the show started, and uh, so I did that. And then my handle on Instagram, where I'm pretty much always on, is um, Peter underscore Madrigal. So. M-A-D-R-I-G-A-L. All right. I'd like to have you later on, and maybe I get some uh, alcohol. We sit here and we make a drink together. How's that sound? Oh, that'd be awesome. Right now? You want to so, do it now? Well, you know what? We'll do it another time. I don't have any alcohol okay, with me, good. so I want to do another time with you. Awesome. Perfect. All right. I'm looking forward to that. Thanks, Peter. You're welcome. All right.